What's up YouTube? Andrew with Silver City Reef back with another video on the 40 breeder build. In this video I figured I would do a quick update and then I'm going to try to get another video out and that one will be a review video. I'm not sure whether I want to do the skims power heads or the tune skimmer but let's get right into it. Sorry about the mess and the glare from the lights behind me, but I've had a couple of issues over the past couple of weeks and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So since my last video I've added a few more coral frags. Um, you can see the bubblegum digi in the back above the acro that doesn't look so good. And then right next to it, there are two green slimers. Now, I had an issue with those, and they actually lost their color pretty bad. As you can see, the one on the right pretty much has most of its color back, but still has a ways to go. The one on the left is getting better, but it's not coming along as quickly as the other one. Now, the bubblegum digi actually wasn't looking too good a couple of days ago and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. So obviously something starts going wrong, the first thing you think is, alright I need to do a water change. So I did the water change and as I was looking around to see if anything was causing a problem, maybe the lights, whatever, I noticed that one of my snails hadn't moved in days and the more I thought about it the more I felt like I hadn't seen it move in about a week or two so I took a closer look and sure enough the snail was dead so I did the water change and removed the dead snail and the very next morning you could see that the polyps on the bubblegum digi were uh, extending again and it was starting to look alive after a couple days of looking really white. Now a week before that I had noticed my stylo wasn't looking too good either. Kind of the same thing, the polyps weren't extending and you know I waited a couple days and it bounced back. And I also noticed when I noticed the digi that the lepto was starting to turn white on one side. So, I'm hoping it was all just the same thing, but I did push the lepto back a little bit underneath the rock work because I know they don't really like a lot of light and the, the two Hydra 26 HDs are in acclimation mode to work their way up to 65% with the glass lid. I'm hoping that's going to be around 45% but until I get a par meter that's kind of I'm kind of just guessing here I do plan on purchasing one it's just a matter of time and money so probably just going to get a Senai it's close enough doesn't have to be exact and I'm not spending crazy money on a meter I'm going to use just a couple of times everything else is doing good uh, my sand is blowing around quite a bit mostly just pushing out of the corners but that's okay I'm not sure if I had my two emerald crabs and the four snails during my last video so those may be a new addition obviously now it's three snails but the two emerald crabs are doing good and all the other snails seem to be doing fine I had got two serith and two nasarius snails and I believe it was one of the Nasarius that died, if I'm not mistaken. Now the firefish are doing good. They seem to be adapting a little bit better to this tank. Um, they don't get scared by me nearly as often. 
and they'll actually just come up and stare at me sometimes. As you can see, they're kind of just uh, swimming in the current, and they pretty much do that all day with no issues. Now, the Favites is looking really good. It's puffed up and almost off the plug on two sides, so pretty happy with that and I definitely plan on getting more because I like the way they grow. It's very fast. I like to see that what I'm doing is actually working. Uh, everything else is, like I said, doing good. Um, I did forget to mention, next to the Midnight Princess Favites, there is a chalice that also was one of the new frags that I added. I got these all in a trade. I had purchased a bunch of coral from somebody and sorry guys I got interrupted by a phone call but so I had picked up some coral from a local hobbyist and there was a red armadillo looking bug on it and I got a little nervous I don't really want any pests in my tank I don't know what it is couldn't find anything about it I ended up just seeing if anybody was interested in the coral and so I found someone and they traded me the bubblegum digi, the chalice, and this piece you're looking at now which is the purple staghorn. I'm happy with them although the tricolor I traded was definitely a nice piece. So um, I did end up, that's where the green slimer came from, that was part of the coral that came from the local. I probably should have just kept them, kept the tricolor at least. Uh, there was a torch I also got rid of. Uh, the rest are in quarantine, which is actually what happened to the Slimer. I had to set up a last minute quarantine and the lights I had were not powerful enough to pretty much keep the acros happy so they'd hold their color. But like I said, slowly getting the color back you know you make mistakes you live and you learn i think that's all i have for updates right now i cleaned my sump out yesterday or sunday sorry and i got there was a whole bunch of algae from running the lights higher for the refugium trying to get the kato to grow which seems to have stopped dying but i don't feel like it's getting any bigger Hopefully it's doing its job. I mean, my nitrates haven't gone over two parts per million. So uh, it's quite possible. I also, the algae in the display, up until I noticed the problems with the stylo, the lepto, and the bubblegum digi, there was barely any algae inside of the display. There was a ton in the sump because like I said I had turned the refugium light up much higher but I had then kind of found like the balance point where I wasn't growing unwanted algae in the sump but I wasn't growing algae in the display either and then I think when that snail died it just screwed everything up so I do need to glue down I think every coral in here is going to stay just about where it is. Um, the ones that are on plugs that are stuck in holes, I'm probably going to move just slightly so that when I do get new stuff, I can use those holes because I don't like to glue it down right away until I know it's going to do okay. Other than that, guys, yeah, not too much going on. Um, I have some BRS carbon on its way. I got the ROX 0 0.8 or ROX 0 0.8. I'm working on ordering a meter reactor. I was thinking I would just get the BRS Mini. I think that's all. I will end the video with some better shots and video of everything inside the tank as it sits right now. And like I said, I would really like to try to get another video out today. But just in case I don't, I will see you all next week. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate it. Keep briefing, guys. Oh, actually, before I go, 
I've been playing with some easier basic designs on this website and basically just making t-shirts and other apparel uh, there is some home decor pretty much you can get the design on a numerous amount of things but if you guys want to check those out I've been posting them in my Instagram stories like I said so far I've only done two basic designs I'm working on some others but I wanted to just get something out to see if people were interested at all if you are interested just send me a message on Instagram or Facebook and I will get you the link and I will also get you a promo code that will give you 10 or 15 percent off I think I think 10 percent or maybe 15 for YouTube subscribers we'll see right now what's available is hashtag tank life or refin ain't easy which again like I said they're just basic designs but I think they came out good and I tried to offer both branded and non-branded versions obviously the more expensive ones are going to be unbranded and the lower cost ones are going to be branded the lower cost ones I'm going to do my best to keep those as low as possible since you are actually supporting and you know wearing my logo but the premium option is there for those of you who just want you know the basic shirt without the Silver City Reef name on it but anyways that's all be sure to follow me on Instagram at Silver City Reef and I will catch you all next week